In this lesson, in learning iMovie, we're gonna get into working with photos in iMovie. Yeah, photos are great because we have so many of them. In fact, in iMovie, you can make an entire movie out of photos. Absolutely, works great. Let's see how to do it. You bet. iMovie makes it simple to add photos to your project and animate them. You can import photos, graphics, illustrations, or other still images into an event, just like video clips. But if you use iPhoto, there's an easier way. In the Libraries list, select iPhoto Library. Here you have direct access to your entire photo collection. By default, the browser displays iPhoto events, but you can use this pop-up to select other collections of your photos. Let's leave it on events. Here's an event containing photos I shot with my iPhone on our recent dive trip to St. Croix. To view the photos inside an event, double-click it. Let's add a few photos to the end of our project by skimming over them and pressing the E key. When you add photos from your iPhoto library to a project, they are automatically imported into the event containing that project. Let's select the event and scroll down. There they are, and they're already marked with the orange Use Media Indicators so we know that they're in the current project. Here's a photo I took using the panorama settings on the iPhone. In fact, if we want to see nothing but the photos in the browser, all we need to do is type photo in the search field. Very cool. Now let's clear the search field. When you add a photo to your timeline, it's four seconds long by default. Of course, you can trim a photo, just like a video clip, to make it longer or shorter. But you can also change the default duration. From the window menu, choose Movie Properties. Then in the viewer, click the Settings button. Here you can adjust the default duration of both stills and video clips, as well as how iMovie handles photos that are added to the timeline in the Photos Placement pop-up menu. Clicking in the timeline closes the settings pane. Now if we play these photos in the timeline, we can see that iMovie has automatically animated them. But what if you wanted to modify the animation? No problem. In the timeline, double-click the photo you want to modify. This action reveals the adjustments bar. Click the crop icon. Here, you can choose whether iMovie will fit your video completely in the frame, crop it to fill the frame, or apply the Ken Burns effect. For the Ken Burns effect, you can adjust the starting crop and position by scaling and moving this box and the ending crop and position by adjusting this box. To swap the starting and ending areas, click the Swap button. When you're done, click the check mark, then click the Adjust icon to close the adjustments bar. Now play the clip in the timeline. If you want the animation to last longer, simply trim the clip. You can see how easy it is to add and animate photos in iMovie. In the next lesson, we'll dive into working with audio sources.